hello everyone my name is rishav and welcome to my channel so in the previous video we have done the 1d analysis of iris data set so now uh, in this video we shall start with 2d analysis okay so over here i'll plot the 2d graph taking any two of the features okay plotting 2d graph so for that the code is pretty simple so i just need to write iris dot plot okay and then the kind is again gonna be scatter then after that after the kind we have the x axis as let's say sepal dot length and the y axis may be uh, equal to sepal width okay and then after that we can simply write plt dot show okay so now we have a 2d scatter plot but over here you can see that all the points uh, have the same color so we can't tell which one is virginica which one is versi color or sentosa so in such cases seaborn comes to play okay so with seaborn i can add a separate color for separate items okay so for that first let's import seaborn okay so over here i am simply going to write import seaborn as sns okay now over here i'll simply write sns dot style or sorry sns dot set style and then it is going to be white grid okay then after that we have sns dot face t sorry small t face t grid okay so this is the main main part of seaborn okay over here we first give the data set then the hue means uh, hue is the property according to which the colors should differ, differ and which over here is the variety so if if the variety is setosa there will be a separate color for that if the variety is virginica there will be separate color for that and if the variety is versi color then there will be a separate color for that okay so our hue is gonna be variety okay then uh, after that we just need to give a size as for means we have four uh, properties okay so the size is gonna be four okay then after that i'll simply write map and then plt dot scatter means uh, the scatter type of plot okay then the first part is gonna be sepal length okay and the second one is gonna be sepal width okay then i also want to add a legend means uh, show which color is for which uh, variety and then simply plt dot show okay uh it is giving us an error that sns is not defined okay i didn't execute it i am extremely sorry so once that is done if i run this again so now we have the graph over here so let's study this graph okay so for that i'll move to my notebook okay so this is the graph that we have okay so over here again you can see that all the blue points are clearly separated from the green and orange points okay so if i draw a simple line then also i can separate all the blue points from the green and orange points where the blue points are setosa and the green and orange are virginica and versi color so you can see the conclusion is very same to what we have in 1d analysis over here the blue was setosa and we can uh, linearly separate all the setosa from virginica and versi color okay but uh, over here you can see that we were not able to say if there was some overlap between the items or not but since now over here we have 2d we can we can clearly say that there is here is some overlap here is some overlap and here is some overlap 
okay so this is the benefit of uh, 2d over 1d okay so now uh, along with that uh, another thing that i want to mention is that you can see that some of the blue points are in this side of this line as well okay which is in this case only one so what i can say is that uh, if i try to make a simple machine learning model which checks if the point lies beyond uh, on this side or on this side okay so if it is on the left side then that is gonna be setosa and if it is on this side then it is not setosa but it is not 100% accurate why it is not 100% accurate because you can see that even though we have a line one of the point is uh, is not in the correct side okay so it is not 100% accurate but it is nearly 100% accurate okay so i hope you understand the difference it is not 100% accurate but very close to 100% in accuracy okay so this was about the 2d graph now similarly we can plot a 2d graph for other features as well and we have another method where we can plot all the 2d graphs possible in a data set together which is called pair plots we will see that as well okay so this was the 2d graph 2d analysis so over here also uh, if i am about to write the conclusions i can say that uh, the setosa is linearly separable okay and the virginica and versicolor are not linearly separable because they have overlap so these are the two conclusions that we can derive from the 2d analysis okay so this was for the video see you in the next video over there we, we will discuss about 3d analysis Okay, so thank you.